One of the biggest challenges that we see um, within in investment management currently is um, the, the debate about active versus passive management. Um, so currently right now we've, we've literally just come off one of the longest bull runs in history. So a lot of people right now are looking to passive and their lower fees and uh, are, are just thinking why, why bother investing in, in hedge funds when um, the fees for, for hedge funds are so much more. Um, and this is, it's currently a, a big stumbling point, but I think um, it's more of a cyclical sort of um, uh, industry in that people um, right about now, um, with the volatility in the markets coming up, you're probably going to need some sort of um, allocations to hedge funds as well. And um, people are sort of beginning to realise that as well. So I think, yeah, the, the active versus pass passive right now is one of the biggest problems. Um, if you're keen to pursue a career, I think definitely do, do as much as you can to show that you're keen, whether it's um, getting work experience, which is probably not, it's easier said than done, but if you can do some sort of insight dates or um, bit, bits and bobs of experience throughout your studies, whether it's first or second year, um, the Easter break, the summer break, whatever, just try to get your teeth into it. Um, uh, if you know that's not an option, I get involved with the societies at university. I, I'm sure, I know you guys have a couple of quite good societies. If you can be part of you know the, the board there, or make sure you attend, attend the events um, outside of university. The events that we the event we've had tonight, attending those also helps networking. You know, shake some hands, get to know people in the industry because um, you know it, it's quite a nice industry to be part of and people are willing to help each other. So if you can um, meet, meet as many people as possible, you never know where they'll come in handy um, later down, down your career. Yeah, I think FinTech has, FinTech has definitely uh, impacted the uh, investment management industry. It's, it's definitely made it more efficient in terms of both time and cost. Um, in, in terms of sort of what employers are looking for, I think there's definitely been a, a shift in the skill set. Um, a lot more banks and asset managers are looking for people with coding skills. So um, a lot, a lot of students right now should be sort of pushing to get those those skills. Um, from our side, we see a lot more fund managers integrating these um, these sort of um, big data, sort of AI into their investment processes, and a lot more sort of investors um, open to as well as sort of um, requiring those with a more quantitative and systematic approach to, to their investing. And I think going forward 20 years in the future, that, that demand is just going to grow a lot more. And um, yeah, the, the, the roles within this industry is going to change along with that. The key, th the key competencies um, to remember when entering the industry is that the learning doesn't stop once you uh, finish your studies, once you get your degree. Um, you, you have a chance to pursue qualifications, you know, get, get into them, make sure you're, you're showing your willingness to learn and um, continuity to uh, work on your personal development as much as you can. So whether it is, you know, um, getting involved in, in the business or helping out kind of externally, um, make sure that, that you're, you're showing a bit of eagerness and initiative um, and, and furthermore just that, that you continue kind of working on yourself because there's people that have been in the industry for 20 years and now it's changing, you know, you have to reinvent yourself, you have to keep learning um, and keep trying to kind of buck the trend. Um, I guess also being in this industry uh, it's it's kind of at the leading edge of the financial services sector so you, you're going to need to show um, how uh, you know how, how your fund or your strategy is going to outperform the market you know you can't just do a copycat whatever else everyone's doing so you need to be a little bit entrepreneurial or a little bit, little bit inventive creative um, and and try to stay ahead of the game <laughs> um, I, I wish that I knew um, that the investment management industry was so inclusive uh, it is really one of the biggest myths in the industry. It's, um, it's we're, we're trying to move away from the stereotypical uh, people you might think that the industry is all about, and we, uh, I'm actively recruiting in the industry. We're, we're not interested in those people. We want diversity of thought. We want diverse um, applicants coming through. So whether you've studied English, whether you've not worked at all, whether you know you, you've 
uh, finished your A-levels and not gone to university, you know, we want to hear from you because if you can make a difference in, in our company, if you can come in, be a good team player and, um, you know, get, get down to the, uh, get, get the job done, um, that, that's all we're really looking for. So, um, yeah, I think, I think I wish that I knew that the industry was a lot more inclusive um, and there's not as many barriers to entry as you might think because we really are trying to change the face of the industry. Um, yeah, that would have been great. The advice that I wish to have been given is just to come into the workplace with an open mind, as in that as a career coming out of uni, you don't really know what you really want to go into. Um, you don't know what you're good at and you don't know sort of um, where you end up. So just come in, come into sort of um, when you're looking for jobs, keep, keep an open mind and um, the job that you go for, you end up at, just go for it and see, see where you end up. We, um, we want to hear from them, we really do and we, it's for, for me personally it's a challenge of fi finding where they're, how, how they're seeking these roles. So um, you know, get involved whether it's um, through the avenue like Investment 2020 where they have um, you know, different jobs available, whether they are you know, at networking events, you know, just really um, c come come to as many things as you can because we, you're definitely the people we want to hear from. Um, in terms of you know second jobbers or career movers um, because that you're quite interesting applicants um, because you know you've had some experience somewhere and there's a lot of a lot of transferable skills you can bring from your experience thus far and we're really interested in, in honing in on, on those sorts of applicants too.